all right? Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory. Be on to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings be unto the hopeful elect, pushing his truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. In the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. All right, this is the Bobby Akanan from the GMS England branch, and um, you know I'm back here. This is going to be um, you know a walk and talk style video. I haven't done one of these in a few weeks, so um, you know I wanted to um, get out here, you know, get some fresh air, you know, take a walk. And you know, just take in, you know, some of some of some of the nature, you know, that Esau Edom hasn't um <laughs> got his hands on yet, you know. Because as we know, you know, the earth is defiled under the um inhabitants thereof, you know, those inhabitants being, you know, Esau Edom, you know, the rulers of this current, you know, demonic occupation. You know, this man has completely, you know, destroyed the earth. And, um, you know, that's why, you know, he is going to be destroyed. You know, as it tells us in the book of Revelation, you know, destroy them that destroy the earth, you know. And that's a, that's a heavy, you know, transgression. That's a heavy sin that these devils have, um, have, um, carried out, you know. Among, you know, the many other things, you know, one of the main things, one of the main things that they've done is destroy the earth, you know, to the point where you can't even proper benefit from the um, earth the way you're supposed to, all right, while this devil is in power, while he's in rulership, okay, so for the earth to be, you know, at peace again, for the earth to actually um, benefit us the way it's supposed to benefit us, you know what, this devil has to go. You know, the house of Esau Edom has to be taken out of rulership. And ultimately, you know, as pursuant to the book of Obadiah, you know, they must not exist as a nation of people. You know, they're going to be completely, you know, done away with in um in due, in due course. You know, and that has to happen, all right? Because that's biblical prophecy. And that's the only way that things can be perfect, you know, upon the face of the earth is if, you know, the vessels of wrath that are indeed fitted to destruction be taken away, you know? And that makes perfect sense. But um, what I really wanted to talk about in this video is um, how unprepared people are for the changes that these wicked elites are about to put in place in these last days, all right? Now, if you're a watchman, if you're really, you know, measuring the time diligently, as it instructs us to do in a second Ezra chapter nine, you know, the scriptures say, measure, you know, the time diligently in itself, roughly paraphrasing. And when you see, you know, part of the signs passed, which I told you all before, then you shall know, you know, that the highest is about to visit the earth, which he made. Okay, again, roughly paraphrasing. If you're a watchman and you're measuring the time, you would know that um, we're living in a time of great change. And as pursuant to Daniel's 12, we're also living in a time of mass information, all right, being readily available for people right at the click of a button, all right? And there's all sorts of information coming out in regards to, you know, the wicked elites, you know, the agendas that they have in order to enslave the people and manifest, you know, this um, social credit system that's gonna completely control your life inside and out. And in the process of that, in the transition of kingdoms period, you're gonna have a lot of changes and you're gonna have a lot of decisions that people are gonna be, gonna be uh, faced with, all right? And you know, the Spirit's been having me, you know, hone in on some of the conversations I've been having, you know, even on the job, 
you know, among Jake or it doesn't even have to be Jake, you know, just people in general in the world. And one theme that um, you pick up upon is the fact that these people are not ready for a collapse, all right? They're not even thinking on the wavelength of things getting really dirty out here. You know, things getting to the point of a dog eat dog, you know, climate, okay? And people still have, you know, this, um, this, um, you know, fantasy of, you know, somehow being stable and everything being okay, you know, in this current kingdom that we're living in, okay? Which at this point, <laughs> that's a complete fairy tale. This kingdom is, you know, completely done, okay? This com this kingdom is completely done, and you how about Shimei Shai is about to cement the judgment for this place in due time. But you still have, you know, people trying to hold this place together, trying to hold it up, trying to make plans, you know, trying to, um, you know, put their energy into cementing somewhat of a future for themselves in this wicked kingdom, man. And that's complete delusion, all right? Because like I said, you know, if your eyes are open, you can, you can, like, you can see that this place is done. You can see that Yahweh Bar Shimei Shai is getting ready, all right, to, to, to pronounce extreme judgment on this wicked kingdom, okay? But these people ain't got, you know, the eyes out. They ain't got, you know, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bar Shimei Shai. So while we're making plans to exit this kingdom, they're making plans to keep this kingdom running, all right? They're making plans to try and cement, you know, that, that, that deal, you know, to try and cement their place in Esau Edom's kingdom, where we're trying to cement our place on a chariot. We're trying to cement our place in being in the good books of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, you know, we, when you had them, um, you know, them period pieces, for example, you got, uh, um, you know, you got them, you know, them movies, you know, that will show you how, it, you know, how life was in um, ancient Rome or ancient Greece, all right? And then you'll have, you know, particular warriors. They would want their name, you know, to be remembered, all right? For example, Troy, you know, he, he wanted to be remembered. That was his main, you know, goal, his main driving force <clears throat> is that he wanted to be remembered. You know, that's why he was fighting, okay? That was his motivation, all right? Because he never wanted to be forgotten. Well, it's kind of the same, you know, with us, all right? We want to be remembered, you know, of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And we don't want to be destroyed, okay? And the scriptures speak about, you know, having a good name and the importance of having a good name, you know, and a good report, you know, especially concerning Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, we want to be remembered. We want to be in the book of life. We want to receive salvation. We don't want to be recognized by, you know, this world and the ungodly. We don't want to get credits from Esau Edom and his establishment. We want to get credits with Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. We want to get recognition from the um, ancient of days and his only begotten son. Okay, that's, what, that's who we want to be recognized by, man. We don't want to be recognized and, and, and um, you know, accredited by the Rothschilds and the wicked elite, all right? Through the spirit, we're coming against them. Everything that, everything that we preach, everything that we represent, all right, is coming against their infrastructure. It's coming against their wicked ag agendas and their plans, okay? We embody that. We embody the opposite of what they embody. And that's why the scriptures say, that, um, you know, the wicked is an abomination to the just, just like the just is an abomination to the wicked, okay? We completely detest them, and they feel the same way, and that's how it's meant to be, okay? Because it was, it, was, it was like that from the very beginning, going back to um to uh, Jacob and uh, Esau, and also going back to even, um you know, Cain and Abel, okay? It's the Lord that has... um put that enmity, you know, that natural enmity, that natural hate, you know, between us 
and the wicked, okay? And it's meant to be there, okay? Because that's order, okay? And again, you know, as I always quote, you know, that's balance, all right? That's actually balance, and that's when you have our shiny shine and set up. You know, everything was created in twos. You know, you have hot and cold, okay? You have fast, you have slow, you have righteousness, and you have wickedness, man. And Lord willing, you know, we happen to embody, you know, the right hand side. Okay? So, that's what that is, man. So, we want to have a good name. We want to have a good report with Yahweh about Shimmy Shai, man. And we're not trying to, you know, be recognized by this current kingdom, all right? By the people that rule, you know, this current kingdom. Okay? We're, we're totally against this place and we're praying for the downfall of Esau Edom's kingdom, man. We don't want no parts of this mess, you know? And even at the camp, you know, this this gone, this uh, this past Saturday, you know, we're going into um, Ezekiel, you know, nine and four, and you know, where the scripture says, uh, go throughout the midst of the city, throughout the midst of Jerusalem, and say, Mark, in which when you go into that word, Mark, you know, it goes into far war, a mark of exemption from judgment upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. All right, so if you're not crying out, if you're not, um, if you don't see the problem with this society, right? The Lord willing, you can hear me because it's very windy out here. If you don't have a problem with this society and the things that are happening in this society, and you're not praying for our Lord to come back and destroy this place, then you're down with it, you know? You're down with getting raped by this system, okay? Because even when you go into the law, you know, when, when a woman, you know, when a man lays hold on a woman, but she's already, um, um, you know, uh, 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 married, okay, she already has a man, you know, that's adultery. So what, what would she do? She would have to cry out as a as a um a signal that she's not down with what's happening she's not down you know with this um grape you know because she already has a lover surely has a man all right that she's with and that she's dealing with so she would cry out so people will know that she's not down with this all right we're going into this other camp okay so you all you people out there that are not crying out, you're down, we're getting fucked by Esau Edom. You're lying in bed with him. Okay, you don't see a problem with what's actually going down, man. And I think I might have said something along the lines of, you've actually got a, <laughs> you, you, you know, you're getting, you're getting, uh, you're getting raped by Esau Edom in this society, and you got a smirk on your face. Okay? But you're going on like, you know, you, you ain't down with it, but really you got a smirk with your face. Really you enjoying it. You know, imagine, imagine your woman came crying to you, right? And she said, um, you know, I, I've been, you know, someone raped me, whatever, all right? But then you looked at the footage, you, 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 you happen to have it on, um, you know, video, CCTV, so you can analyze, you know, the footage to see if she was telling the truth. And imagine you watch that footage back and she had a smirk on her face while it was happening, all right? That's what a lot of you, um, you Israelites out there are doing, okay? That's what a lot of you are doing, man. All right, you say, you know, you hate this place and this place is fucked up, so on and so forth, but really, you got a smirk on your face and you enjoying it, man, okay? Because you just can't help but be a slave. You just can't help, you know, sticking in that spirit of, uh, you know, Stockholm Syndrome, as they call it, man. You fell in love with the captor, okay? You feel, you're falling in love with the guy that's put you into slavery, man. And you can't do away with him. So you know what? Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to do away with you. And it's as simple as that, man. All right? So I'm going to cut it off there, man. Lord willing, this brief lesson was edifying. Until next time, I'll say Shalom.